हेलो फ्रेंड आज हम लोग क्वेश्चन कर रहे हैं जिसमें दिया गया है अ बॉडी विद जीरो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी मूव्स डाउन ऑन एन इंक्लाइन प्लेन एंड देन एसेंस अलोंग द सेम प्लेन विद सम इनिशियल वेलोसिटी इन सच अ वे दैट इट स्टॉप्स at the same height in which case the time of motion will be longer मतलब क्वेश्चन में बोला गया है कि जो बॉडी है वो एक इंक्लाइन प्लेन पे एच हाइट से पहले नीचे आती है डिसेंड होती है एंड देन सेम प्लेन पे ही उसी प्लेन पे एच हाइट तक जा रही है इतनी वेलोसिटी केवल उसको गिवन है कि ये केवल एच हाइट तक ही ऊपर जा रही है अब लेट द वेलोसिटी एट द टाइम ऑफ एस एन एच बी टू एट द बॉटम यह वेलोसिटी इज वी टू एंड वेन बॉडी कम्स डाउन इन टाइम ऑफ डिसेंट इट्स वेलोसिटी इज वी वन एंड बॉडी कैम्स डाउन इट्स वेलोसिटी इज वी वन In that case, this is v one velocity, this is v two velocity, and ascent and descent. Okay. In this case, when body is moving upward, its final velocity will be zero, and here velocity is zero. In case of descent, and velocity is v one at the time of when body is at bottom, and here velocity is v2 so first case we are considering here that on the motion in both motion here the acceleration is g sin theta let the angle will be theta then acceleration will be g sin theta and also here the retardation will be g sin theta in case there is no friction so first case without friction friction nahi hai acceleration constant hai during downward motion and during upward motion when body moves with constant acceleration then average velocity is written as initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 so average velocity for downward motion is v1 plus 0 that will be v1 by 2 and average velocity for upward motion For second case, average velocity will be v two by two. Now, suppose this distance is small as distance from this point to this point during both motion is taken as small as so small as is always equals to v1 into time of descent motion v1 into t1 by 2 let time t1 in this case and t2 in this case and similarly body moves through same distance so this distance will be equals to v2 into t2 by 2 Okay. From above relation, see that v one t one is equals to v two t two. Now, in absence of friction, velocity remains same according to law of conservation of energy, and also due to conservative force, v one is equals to 
v2 without friction mu coefficient of friction in case of without friction v1 equals to v2 so time t1 h equals to t2 with friction second case with friction when friction is present in that case the velocity v2 required by body to move through same distance as is greater than v1 velocity in second case will be greater than first case so for product v1 t1 equals to v2 t2 t2 must be less than t2 must be less than t1 so from here in absence of friction both body will take uh, body will take equal time in both case but when friction is present in that case velocity v2 will be greater than v1 so t2 will be less than t1 so time of ascent will be less than time of descent with presence of friction but in case when there is no friction time of ascent and descent both be equal thanks